Hi, this is part one in debugging Scala-based Spark programs in IntelliJ. Let's get right to it. Wherever you're watching this screencast, um, it should have been accompanied by a link to the tutorial in question. The tutorial in question has links for the code that we're going to be going over today, as you'll see in this IntelliJ project. It Part of it relies on this build SBT file. Part of it relies on this skeleton um, Spark related object that we're going to run to show you how to configure breakpoints and debugging in IntelliJ. So if you're new to Scala and IntelliJ and Spark, I would encourage you to download this um, project. For, it's from, in, available in a GitHub repo, and it might be easier to start building up some of your confidence momentum. On the other hand, if you've already got a project running and you just need to figure out how to set breakpoints, you can adapt it. I'm pretty confident you'll be able to adapt what I'm showing you here for your environment. And at the time that you're watching this, you might have a different version of IntelliJ. So I'm going to show you two different ways to configure IntelliJ to set breakpoints and run things in your debugger. And it should... The first way that I'm showing you has stood the test of time for a while, and then the second option is available in newer versions of IntelliJ. So I'm feeling pretty confident that no matter what version of IntelliJ you're on, it should work. If it doesn't, um, if you see something different, just leave some comments or questions and I'll help you as best I can. Let's get into it. Um, what you'll see here so far is something that we'll come back to later in this skeleton object. For now, let's just take a look at what it is like to debug just a regular old Scala object before we get into Spark. So we'll call this Hello Mundo. We'll make it an object. We're not going to add it to Git, and then we'll add a, a main for it. And then we're going to not make it too exciting. We're just going to do some print lens statements. So how do you set a breakpoint and run it in a debugger with a regular old Scala object such as Hello Mundo here? To set a breakpoint, click over in this area and you'll see the indicator of a breakpoint here with this red circle. Next, you can right click here and say run in debug mode. You'll, um, or you can come over to the package and go here and say debug Hello Mundo. You'll see a shortcut there as well. Now this program isn't very interesting when it stops here in the debugger, but it highlights that we can see and inspect the variables um, of this particular program. Now, as I just mentioned, there's nothing really interesting here and we'll be able to see if we continue here in the console, our ASDF. So this is Setting the stage for the Spark Skeleton object, which we'll now attempt to debug now it, next. If we follow that same process, where we right click on it and we hit Debug Skeleton, there is trouble in paradise. No class found. Now, how do we get around this? How do we get back to running um, in a debugger? Also, I think I skipped here. I, I've got a couple, I've got a breakpoint here, and I'll put another one. I'll put another one here as well. Um, what? How do we run this? There's two ways. So the first way we can do that is we'll come up here in the upper right and we'll click the down arrow and we'll, arrow and we'll go to edit configurations. Next, we'll highlight here skeleton, which has been our attempt to run it in the debugger. We'll change the class path of module to IntelliJ Runner, hit Apply, hit OK, and then run in the debugger again. Now in this case it should run, and you can see now that it is, we're able to inspect our variables of this running program. We could go to the next breakpoint here. It's highlighted where we are in the program, and now we're debugging our Spark we're running our Spark code in the debugger. So that was one way to do that. Now, that IntelliJ runner, where did that come from? And that's where I call out this build SBT. If you come into build SBT, 
you'll see I have that configured with a helpful link here on using provided libraries in your run configuration. Again, the link to this project is available from wherever you're watching this video. I'm not going to explain the nuances of how this is actually implemented. I just wanted to demonstrate how you can utilize something like this in debugging. Okay, that is option one for running in a debugger, Spark related code. Now there's another one that I just found out about in newer versions of IntelliJ, or it was least new to me, and that is if we come back to Skeleton, go under Edit Configurations, Skeleton again, we now have this option here, this include dependencies with provided. So we can also then click this, go back to our default class path of module, Spark Sandbox, hit apply. That should also work as well. And that was new to me. And see, hopefully you can see that it is working as the previous example showed as well. So those are two ways that you can run your Spark code in the debugger. Um, running in standalone mode locally here now within your in your uh, IntelliJ environment. So hopefully these two examples help you. And um, as I mentioned in the very beginning, this is part one. And the next one we'll talk about in the next screencast. We'll talk about setting up your IntelliJ environment to remotely debug Spark code that maybe is running on your cluster. So check out that screencast if that's something interesting to you as well. If you're brand new, start here. Get your feet wet, as they say, with this screencast, um, and then move on to the next one. Hopefully this helps. Take care.